Hi, my name is Andy and I'm a spatial information futurist. Across this valley, it's not a new mine or a dam, but a series of geographic locations of indigenous heritage, European history, prehistoric events, adventure opportunities offering spectacular views, and land use practices very different to what you can find in the city. Today, open data and technology gives us the opportunity to bring all of these together like never before. Today, we're going on a road trip. Reading static plaques on the side of the road was yesterday. With my tablet, GPS, geographic location, now triggers content. Rich content, like video, audio, historic photos on maps, themed educational games, and my favourite, coming soon, with Google's Project Glass, geolocated, augmented reality. Today, we can superimpose a SketchUp 3D model perfectly in position in the landscape, continuously viewing it from our perspective or wherever we move. Imagine the possibilities for displaying structures, scenes or landscapes of yesterday. Imagine the connection that we can attain from a place. Mash this together with walking trail maps or local business discovery, and we've got a pretty good start. Yesterday, road trip would have been overly ambitious. Today, this open data initiative is exactly why it is going to be successful. The data largely already exists. State archives, heritage site locations, local historic societies, and in the memories of our citizens. It doesn't need to be created, but it does need to be aggregated into a useful form. Crowdsourcing is its future, and our role is to set standards and facilitate. But here's the real kicker. Drive tourism is the lifeblood in many regional areas, critical to economic and social development. This app gives us a reason to spend more time in the regions, and more time means more money to local businesses. So now you're awake to the future, I'll leave you with this final thought. In a global tourism market, what value can you place on a point of difference? Thank you.